Good morning everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. I've just had to do a quick, I'm doing a quick update video, see if I move around if I can show it. Um, this is my guava that's been in the kitchen, it's looking extremely sickly. It's pretty much lost all of its leaves except two or three. And despite maintaining the plants and keeping an eye on them, I think you can probably see, should be able to see, that it's got a very, very heavy infestation of mealybugs. Now there's nothing mealybugs like more than a plant that's already in a very weakened state to attack it. So what I'm going to do in a minute is spray this heavily with some organic, uh, an organic pesticide that I've got. I'm going to give it a good drenching and then later today I'm also going to try and spray it with some neem oil because I'm hoping the combination of the two things will help deal with this mealybug attack. One of the problems with guavas as you can probably see from looking at the video is they have a very interesting sort of hairy um, and textured bark. The downside of that is it gives the mealybugs plenty of places to hide and lay their eggs. So what I'm going to use on this one today is this organic bug glare ultra 2 should treat mealy bugs and scale insects but I'm going to give it a good the one advantage of not having any leaves on it the plus side not having any leaves it's going to make it very hard for the bugs to hide from the spray so I'm going to give this I haven't got much left in this bottle so what I'm going to try and do is give all the stems a good soaking leave it to dry out in the sun as the weather's uh, there's no wind today so although it's not although it's cold well, reasonably cold it was went to well below freezing last night it was quite heavy frost temperature now is probably about three or four degrees uh, centigrade so about roughly 37 38 Fahrenheit perhaps 40 probably a little bit more in the Sun so I'm going to give this a good drenching. Try and get underneath the leaves as well. If I can get the whole plant sprayed, let it dry out for a couple of hours and then do it with neem oil later, I'm hoping that will deal with the eggs and the adults. just about run out of spray now so I'll have to probably go out and buy another one today anyway that's given it a really good soaking you can see the bundles of eggs and young mealy bugs and plants on top you can also see new shoots so I think there's a good chance the plant will recover the problem is it's going to have another two months at least inside in the dry kitchen atmosphere so I really do need to deal with these mealy bugs now before they finish the plant off a little bit there but I'm going to douse, I'm going to give it a good soaking with a neem oil and soapy water mix later as well and leave it out in the sun for a couple of hours which won't do any harm. As I said I'd like to isolate the plant ideally but I just don't have anywhere to isolate it away from other plants because obviously these mealy bugs will be spreading to other plants in the kitchen which is always a problem of growing them in close proximity. Uh, sorry about the funny shadows and everything, but it's nice to see some sunshine, really. Anyway, that's me out for now. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. You're welcome to uh, share the video. You're welcome to like it. Uh, if it interested you at all, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And hit the bell if you'd like to get notifications of any further videos I make. Thanks for watching, everybody. Breath out for now. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.